The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. He summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and sickness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we honor one of the great saints of post-revolution France, St. John Vianney, the patron saint of priests. He was born in Lyon in 1786, and it's well known, of course, that he struggled uh, in his time uh, in the seminary uh, in order to gain an education to be uh, ready for ordination. Uh, but he was later entrusted after ordination with the parish in the village of Ars in France where he spent the next 42 years. He excelled in his active concern for souls and in his spirit of great prayer and penance. And above all, he was, in, uh, was exemplary in his tireless dedication to souls through the sacrament of confession. He spent many, many long hours uh, hearing confessions of the many uh, souls that would visit us for that purpose. He died in 1859 and was canonized and declared the patron saint of the clergy in 1929 by Pope Pius XI. It is the great task of priests to continue to announce the truths of the gospel to make uh, that uh, call, that uh, uh, call to conversion that is so necessary in every time and place. And so as uh, John Vianney was sent to the village of Ars, the tiny place of only about 230 uh, uh, inhabitants, the vicar general of that diocese told him, there is not much love for God in that parish. You will have to try to introduce it. That, of course, is exactly what St. John Vianney did. He was able to inspire the people of that village by his own zeal for his, uh, the love for the Lord that he bore in his own heart. He wasn't learned, healthy, or wealthy, but he was holy. And his union with God is what worked the great miracle of the conversion of so many people in that village and well beyond as many uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands would take the long trip to Ars to visit the Cure of Ars. The great crowds that would come uh, didn't come simply to witness a miracle taking place. It wasn't out of curiosity in order to see some great work, uh, but of course uh, was uh, very humble and not wanting to show any of that, but the expectation of all these people was that they would find a saintly priest. As uh, St. John Paul II said, surprising in his penance, so familiar with God in prayer, outstanding for his peace and humility in the midst of popular acclaim, and above all, so intuitive in corresponding to the interior dispositions of souls and freeing them from their burdens, especially in the confessional. The Lord chose as a model of pastors him who alone would only have been able to appear poor, weak, and defenseless, worthy of scorn in the eyes of men. God rewarded him 
with his greatest gifts as a guide and doctor of souls. On one occasion, people asked a lawyer from Lyon who was returning from us what he had seen there. He answered, I saw God in a man. As we know, the uh, times we live in are very difficult, particularly for the priesthood. There are many attacks on the priesthood uh, in the world today and even within the church. The great confusion at times over the role and ministry, the particular ministry of the priest. And so on this great feast of St. John Vianney, the patron of the clergy, uh, let us pray for priests. Let us pray for more holy priests that we will never be lacking in pastors for souls. And uh, it is a great necessity at all times in the church to uh, be praying for vocations. And uh, it is a task that all of us, both priests and, and lay faithful, have in the church to continually be asking the Lord of the harvest to send more workers to the harvest to uh, continue that great work that St. John Vianney gave such exemplary witness to in his many years uh, in ours. St. John Vianney, pray for us, pray for the church, pray for her priests.